there are lots of reasons to want to get into enamel pins. You can check out this video uh, for just five of those reasons. But uh, how do you know if you're really ready to jump in? In this video, I'm going to be talking about three criteria you can use to know for sure if you're ready to get into enamel pins. Before we do that, <laughs> go ahead and click that bell, click subscribe. I put out videos every Friday, so if you are into pins and talking about pins and making pins, uh, then go ahead and do that and let's get started. Okay, so I love making enamel pins, obviously. They have been a huge part of my business for the past few years, and um, uh, but I know they're not for everybody, and that's fine. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some three main criteria that I think truly successful, successful pin makers have, and see if it's a good fit for you or not. I've already helped like dozens of other pin makers get started in their businesses and grow their businesses through my Enamel Pins 101 course. And I really think these three criteria are what a lot of people have in common. So let's get into it and see if you are ready to get on the pin train with everyone else. I'm sorry I said that. I'm not really sorry, I'm a dork, it's fine. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, first thing, do you have an idea? Do you have something that you want to bring into the world as a physical object? Do you have a design that you're like, dang, I wish a pin like this existed, you know? Or like, oh my gosh, I really wish I had this great idea for a collection of pins. This would be perfect. No one's making it. If you have that inspiration and you have an idea, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be able to execute on it because there are uh, manufacturers and designers who can help you bring your designs to fruition. But if you are an artist too, that definitely helps. <laughs> so you have to have an idea. You have to have that spark and that inspiration of something that you want to bring into the world. It's so cool to have an idea in your head, draw it out on a piece of paper, or iPad, whatever, but then having that physical thing in your hands is so special. So first thing you need is that idea. For the second thing, I'm going a little more practical. Do you have the time and space do you have a specific time during the day that you can carve out to work on your pin designs and promoting them and getting your listings up and packaging things? Are you working at nap times like I did for like two straight years? <laughs> um, are you working at the end of the day after you get home from work or school? Be sure that you know that you have that time to commit because otherwise you're just going to feel like you're drowning. If you don't truly have time, and it can really only be like 10, 20 minutes a day or an hour out of your week that you're batching your stuff, um, things like that. But if you, if you don't have the time to carve out, it's going to be really frustrating for you. But if you do carve out that time and you commit to this is my working time, this is my business time, if you have that, then you can absolutely get started. I mean, my son's naps uh, ranged from like 30 minutes to three hours. So um, I would have any time during that to work. And then it depended on at night, you know, after dinner, after everyone went to bed, then I would have time to work then too. So you can find the time but don't like try and run yourself ragged. I'm not in the school of like, you've got to have, you've got to hustle. You've got to, you know, work till 2 a.m. Don't, don't do that. But carve out a reasonable amount of time and commit to it. <laughs> if you can do that, you're golden. As for space, this is like the most practical one. Do you have space to put your pins? You need to have um, the backing cards, the actual pins. There's packaging for them. There's labels for printing stuff. So if you can, if you have a little space that you can carve out for a few bins, you know, to keep all of your supplies in, that is something very important too. Uh, having a space um, that is dedicated is a huge help. <laughs> Not totally necessary. A lot of people work from their kitchen countertops and, and kitchen tables and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it is helpful to know that there are some things that come with it. And having a little bit of space, even if it's just a closet or under a desk, can be helpful. <laughs> so in terms of the time that you carve out, I am curious when 
do you work on your pens or when do you want to work on your pens? Are you like a nap time, like, you know, power through nap time uh, while your kids sleep? Or like, do you work while they're at school? Do you work on your breaks at work? Do you, uh, do you work on stuff after school? Sorry, cats are coming in. <laughs> um, I'd love to know when you work. Being someone who had uh, basically a side business for years and years and years and years and years. I am used to carving out little bits of time to work whenever I could. So I'm curious, tell me in the comments when you actually work on your business. I would love to know. <laughs> okay, so this last criteria is kind of a biggie. Can you commit to see it through? So are you determined to create this new venture for yourself? Mindset is such a huge part of owning a business or a side business. And if you are not truly ready and uh, if you're not in a place where you feel energetic and excited and ready to create this new life and business for yourself, then you're not going to make it. There are so many ups and downs to running any kind of business, no matter how much time you put into it. So if you are not 100% ready to see it through even during those downs, which happened to all of us, um, then you're not ready, to be fair. <laughs> but if the idea of running your own business, seeing your stuff in physical form, you know, creating a, this new kind of life for yourself and your family, if that idea is more exciting than it is scary to jump, <laughs> then you're absolutely ready. That is, so much of it is mindset. And we have such an amazing pin community that when you do hit those downs, you've got people around you who can help and who totally understand. So I really think that mindset part, because if you're like, oh, I just want to do it on the side, you know, whatever money comes out, comes out, that's fine but you're not going to be able to grow it to the next level if you do that. That's a good starting point um, just to test the waters, but if you wanna go for it and really go for it, you have got to have that mindset piece right and you've got to be excited and determined to see it through and truly commit. Okay, so if you said, oh my God, yes, to all three of those criteria and you are ready to get started, go ahead and click down below. I've got my checklist where you can get started with enamel pins. It's like a list of all of the things to start your own enamel pin business. It's pretty great. And that also gets you on my newsletter. And you'll want to be on that if you are super into starting now because I've got some really exciting things coming up with my official enamel pins 101 e-course soon. So you'll want to be in the know for that. And if you like this video, let me know by giving it a like, um, comment down below, give me a, um, oh, I love giving, I love emojis at the end of these videos. Uh, give me a donut, <laughs> give me a donut emoji um, <laughs> if you're ready to get started, if you want to make pins or if this video is helpful for you at all, get, just give me a donut and then when people look at the comments, they'll be really confused. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, share with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, give me a random donut if you're into it. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.